In this video, I'm going to talk about calculating fields with Ninja Forms. Now, there's two different ways that we can use calculation in Ninja Forms. The first one is one that they've kind of done for us, which is added in form fields to create a product order form. And you can associate a price and a quantity with that product and create a total. So that's the first way, which is just a generic uh, product order form using the fields that are included with Ninja Forms. Uh, the second way to use calculations would be for something uh, like a quiz, whether it be a test for students or whether it be one of those you know, uh, Facebook quizzes where you answer a certain amount of questions and it tells you what your spirit animal is. Um, and uh, that works a little bit differently uh, and it has nothing to do with currency. So we can associate a value with a selected answer or a numeric value with a selected answer and create a total. Now for the second uh, situation that I described, you can also use what's called conditional logic, which is a paid add-on for Ninja Forms, which we'll cover in a separate video, to then based on that result or based on that total that they received, uh, initiate an action. So with the Facebook quiz, for example, uh, you would have loaded questions and each answer would have a point value and then you would say something like if their total and you would set up the questions to make sure this worked, right? If their total was between 0 and 20, their spirit animal is a bear. If it's between 21 and 40, their spirit animal is a lion. And so you would have a points associated with each question to make sure that based on their answers, they would end up in one of those brackets. And then with conditional logic, we can then create an action. So send them to the bear page or the lion page, depending on their answers. So we're gonna cover the first part of that, um, which would be setting up the quiz. And you could use this not for something silly like that, or you could also use it for uh, you know tests or quizzes or to get any kind of value based on feedback. Uh, that you're going to have in your forms. So the first part we will cover a simple product order form. So I'm just going to create a blank form. And Ninja Forms has these already in there. They have a product, a quantity, a shipping, and a total field. And that's what we're going to use for our product order form. And you can integrate this with the PayPal add-on or the Stripe add-on to actually take payment. And we'll cover those in separate videos as well. But to set up our product order form, first we'll click on product. We will give our product a name. So let's say we're selling a t-shirt. And then we have a toggle here for inline quantity. So there's two ways to do quantity when we're talking about a product. Uh, we can use it in line, which is going to automatically associate a quantity, uh, a, put in a quantity field and associate it with that product. Uh, or we can disable it, and I'll just make this price $5. Or we can disable it and then go back to our fields and add in a quantity field. And we select the product that this quantity field is associated with through this dropdown. So, <clears throat> there's no real difference. There's not one benefit really over the other. It's just how you kind of prefer to do it. I think having the separate quantity field looks a little bit nicer, um, but uh, it, it works either way. So we'll select our quantity field. We selected our product for our t-shirt. And now we will go in and add in a shipping field. And so this adds a flat rate shipping cost and this isn't affected by how many t-shirts they order or anything like that so this is just a f it's very simple kind of flat rate shipping if you wanted it to be dynamic in the sense that it was it the value of the shipping went up depending on the amount of t-shirts uh, we wanted to order uh, we would have to do that calculation separately so let's just say that our shipping is flat rate of five dollars and then we will add in our total field and that is going to automatically calculate the total. So if I click publish and I'll just say t-shirt order form and we'll have that automatically add in our submit button. And then if I go and preview my form, oh, it looks like something didn't save here. All right, so that didn't save. So I have to apply this to my t-shirt publish again. All right, so now we have the t-shirt is $5. This is my quantity field. If I order five t-shirts, you can see that my total is now 30 and that is including the $5 from shipping. So five, five is 25 plus five 
is 30 so we can order 10 t-shirts it'd be $50 plus $5 shipping and that's $55 so that's just a very simple way to put together a basic uh, order form and uh, and get a total and like I said we can integrate that with PayPal to uh, or stripe add-ons that come that you can purchase for ninja forms to actually take payment for those orders and then we'd want to get a name and an address uh, and that kind of stuff uh, and like I said for the shipping that's just like a flat rate shipping it's not so if, it doesn't matter if they order one t-shirt or 20 that shipping price is the same so what you'd want to do is add in that shipping cost if you want to add a per product shipping cost probably just add it in to the price of the product or uh, do one of our in-depth kind of calculations but ninja forms does recommend that you either use these pricing fields or the calculation that i'm going to show you in a minute they don't recommend you mixing them together so it's probably just easier to add that cost into the price and then just put in the description that the price includes shipping or something along those lines uh, but really if we're getting into selling products we should be using an e-store but i wanted to show you that these calculations exist and how they work no, but really, if you're selling products, even just a simple product, check out our e-commerce functionality and go that route because they're going to have a lot of things like shipping and inventory and stuff. So that's our product order form. So now I'm going to go into the second type. And for this, we're going to create just a very silly quiz uh, where each answer has a corresponding value to it and how we get that total. Either we can display it for them on the screen or we can look at it in the back end uh, after the form is submitted. So I'm going to create a new form again, a blank form. And we will, for this, uh, you can use several fields. Anything, any field that has or can have a numeric input, uh, you can use for these calculations. Um, because I'm going to do a quiz and I only want them to select one answer, I'm going to use the select fields, but you can use radial, multi-select, checkboxes, numeric, etc. So I'm just going to type in, you know, what is your favorite color? And we'll say blue, red, and green. And we will have five five points for blue, 10 points for red, 15 for green. And if you're doing like a quiz, obviously we just have a point value for the correct answer and a zero for the incorrect answer. So we can just have uh, one answer that has a point value, right? So that's our first question. So now I will create a second question. And we'll say, you know, what color is your aura? And we'll do the same options, red, blue, and green, and our same point values. So now I'm gonna show you two, I'm gonna show you two examples essentially of how we can show it the score to be visible to them on the screen and how we can have it be hidden. Now to be having it hidden happens actually automatically. Where we would create this calculation that I'm gonna show you in a moment. And when they submit the form, when we review it on the back end, it will show us any calculations and what that score was. But if in addition to that, you wanted them to be able to see it as they filled out the form, we would create an HTML field. And we would use this merge tag. So first I need to create the calculation, right? In order to do that, we click on the advanced tab. We click on calculations. We click add new and we'll say this is the score. So we have these, this merge tag icon again. So we'll click on that. We click the fields here that we want to use in our calculation. So first we'll do your favorite color and then I'll just manually add in a plus sign and you can add in any mathematical equations. You can actually make these fairly complicated if you want, but I'm just gonna do a simple one with addition. And then I'll add in the second question and that is going to be our calculation. So I'm gonna click done, back to form fields back to my score field. And then in here, I'm going to add in, I'm gonna to go to, instead of fields, I'm gonna to go to calculations and I'm gonna click calc score. And that means calculate, you know, show me the total of my calculation, which I called, sorry, which I called score. Yeah, so that's where it's getting that. So you can have multiple calculations going on in each form. So I'll go back here. This should be all set. So I will publish this and I'll say simple quiz. 
We'll add our submit button, publish, and then we will preview it. And so you can see here, uh, you know, we can put placeholders or something like that, but you can see here, here is my total. Both of these are worth five points. If I switch this around, you'll see that my total changes. All right. And so if we were doing a quiz with correct or incorrect answers, obviously we want we wouldn't want that total here. We would just want them to be able to select their answers and then submit the quiz. If you did want them to see it, you can use that HTML field. So let's submit this form and then go back into our entries, or our submissions rather, select our simple quiz. And if I edit this, you can see here, even if I hadn't shown them with that HTML field, I would be able to see the score here. So if you're not showing it to them, when you're looking at the results of the quiz, it will show you what the result is or the total is of that calculation. Uh, so this is like a pretty simple example. You can have as many questions as you want. You can have a lot of different values in there. You can give each of them a point value if you're creating something where you want them to end up in a bracket or if it's just a quiz, you could just set up wrong answers and one right answer and, or assign partial points or however you wanted to do it. The point is, is that for each answer or each input that they're giving us, it has an associated numeric value which we can then use in calculations. So if we wanna show them that number, we can use use an HTML field and insert them using insert the calculation using the merge tags or if we just want that score for us we don't have to put any we just create our calculation and it will show us in the back end for ninja forms so that's two different ways that you can calculate fields with ninja forms we have our product order form and we have our calculation builder and like I said I did a simple example just with some uh, simple addition to show you how it works but you can get as complicated as you need to with those calculations. You can also use the totals of calculations in calculations, right? So if I wanted to have a second calculation here, right, and just do score plus five, I'll just call it that just to be simple. And then I added in, instead of fields, if I went to calculations, here's my calc score. And then I could just do, you know, plus five or whatever, or I can add it to other calculations, etc. So you can calculate the total that you get from calculations in additional calculations you know really depending on how complicated you want to get or what your the purpose of your form is you know uh, but that is uh, doing calculations with ninja forms uh, it can be a little intimidating to get into but it actually is quite simple um, once you once you get into it but if you do have any problems uh, just go ahead and post in the forums and me or somebody else will try to help you out as soon as possible